The most common pet foods now link to cardiomyopathy. This is what you need to know. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click the link in the box below to subscribe. And then when you click the link just further in the box below, you can get a copy of my free book. Veterinarians have now reported over 500 cases of animals, primarily dogs, um, that they think are linked to diet um, and being diagnosed with this disease called DCM or dilated cardiomyopathy. Of the reported cases, over 90% are linked to grain-free diets and over 93% uh, are said to be either peas and or lentils. As to why this is happening, it is thought that some dogs may have a genetic predisposition developing this type of heart disease, dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, there's thought that there's linked to one specific amino acid called taurine in the diet, and perhaps that some dogs are not getting enough taurine um, from those specific diets or it's altering the metabolism in some way, because that's a key amino acid that is needed uh, for proper health, heart health and heart function. They've then gone on to compile a list of the most commonly associated pet foods. Acana, 67 cases. Zignature, 64 cases. Taste of the Wild, 53 cases. For Health, 32 cases. Earthborn Holistic, 32 cases. Blue Buffalo, 31 cases. Nature's Domain, 29 cases. From, 24 cases. Merrick, 16 cases. California Natural, 15 cases. Natural Balance, 15 cases. Origin, 12 cases. Nature's Variety, 11 cases. Nutrisource, 10 cases. Neutro, 10 cases. And Rachel Ray Nutrish, 10 cases. So what do you feed your dog or cat? Like what really is best to feed Tula? Really good question. And I am once again pondering the very same thing, you know, cause I'm left with, you know, the companies such as Champion Pet Foods, which produces Akana. I mean, they're saying rightfully so that, you know, there's almost 80 million dogs in the US. Of those, you know, 0.5 to 1% diet, uh, develop dilated cardiomyopathy. And of those that develop DCM, you know, less than 1% is linked to diet. So it's a minuscule fraction. And in fairness, you know, it's really not clear. And I, perhaps it's not clearly really fair that the FDA is going on and singling that company. And they're saying like, so do you go back to your veterinarian and you, and you feed that vet only food, which is recommended by a veterinarian and a veterinary nutritionist, perhaps of questionable nutrients. And is it really good quality? I don't know. Super hard to say. What I do know is there are, there clearly is some form of link between diet, dilated cardiomyopathy, especially this being seen in dogs when it's never been seen before, at least at this, at this level. So does it concern me? You bet. Am I comfortable? Am I going to be feeding Tula, Origin, or Akana? I haven't, not because of this link, but does that cause additional concern? Yeah. Am I going to make a point of avoiding uh, food that has peas or lentils? Yeah, I am. I'm not feeding her that. So what can you do? Well, first of all, I'm going to put a link to those specific foods. I'll put a link to the FDA reporting page, um, along with any updated current information, along with links to pet food and dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, as far as kind of the next big steps, ideally, see if you can get yourself feeding your dog a food that does not include peas, it doesn't include lentils. Those seem to the, be the single biggest sort of ingredient. If you're on a specific food that your dog needs to be on based on, uh, say, some type of dietary requirement, I would have you also think about then about supplementing with additional taurine. Go ahead and talk to your veterinarian about this as well. Uh, but regardless, there isn't one clear answer. Obviously, there's some sort of link no one's really established it yet. And in fairness, maybe there's other things the FDA could be focusing their energy on. And, you know, maybe they're choosing to go after these grain free foods because there's some pretty big companies would be quite happy to see that there's grain free foods causing problems. I don't know.
Thanks so much for watching this edition of NRA Secrets. As things change, they update, I'll be updating you as well. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, click the link below, and then when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.